it's Judy Clock at Stampin' with Crafty Clock. Thanks so much for stopping by my YouTube channel to check out my latest video. I hope that you like what I have in store for you. Ready? Let's go. Hi Stampers, it's Judy Clock here at Stampin' with Crafty Clock. It's Thursday, it's just about 7.30. I'm just gonna give it a couple of minutes to see if anybody else wants to hop on and join us. I would love to know who's here. If you are here tonight, go ahead and give me a, a like, a love, a thumbs up, a shout out. Let me know that you're here because as always, at the end of the evening, I will do a drawing uh, for the two cards that we're gonna make tonight. So love to have you in the drawing. I just need to know that you're here. So today we're going to be working with a variety of products from the January to June mini catalog the Celebration Catalog, and I'm even gonna throw in some embellishments from the Annual Catalog. So let's go ahead and see what we're gonna be working on tonight. We're gonna to make two cards using the A Touch of Ink um, stamp set, and that is one of our Celebration items. Hey Cheryl, you can get this stamp set when you place an order of $100 or more during Celebration. So for the black and white card, we're also going to use the True Love Designer Series paper and the Love You Always foil sheets and the matte black dies from the January to June mini catalog. And for our Bumblebee card, we threw in some faceted gems, elegant faceted gems from the annual catalog and the Field and Flowers Designer Series paper from our Celebration catalog which is free with a $50 purchase. And Celebration is going on right now through the end of February. So if you like these items, don't wait, get them today. All right, so let's start off with our black and white card. Sometimes I like going just clean and simple, and I have that little foil sheet in there just to add just a teeny pop of color. So we're gonna start and we're going to take our thick white, and this is this is the old Whisper White. It would now be basic white, but I'm finishing up my stock that I already had on hand. And I'm gonna go ahead and just give that crease a nice press with our bone folder. This is eight and a half by five and a half. I've scored it at four and a quarter. I have a piece of that True Love Designer Series paper, and I'm going to use the stripe side. This is five and a half by two and a half, and I have a strip of that um, Love You Always foil. This is one inch by five and a half. We're just kind of, kind of layer that over it so just a little tiny bit will peek out. So the first thing I want to do is I want to stamp my sentiment on the front. And the reason I want to do that is because if I mess it up, instead of placing my paper on the right, I can flip it and place it on the left. So that's just going to give me a little bit of um, wiggle room in the case of an oops. So I'm going to pull in my Stampin' Pierce mat because these are photopolymers and they need that little bit of extra cushion. And I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm going to stamp everything in black for this particular card. Okay. Make sure I got this the right way up. All right. And I'm just going to, you know what? I think I have a little too much ink on there. Let me just clean that off. It looks like it's got just a wee tad too much. And I love this stamp set because it is two-step stamping if you want. And I'm gonna put this pretty close to the fold. All right, turned out all right. We don't need to worry. And look what I just did. I literally just stuck my fingers in the stamp pad. Let me quickly get a baby wipe. I, for some reason, I thought I was putting the cover back on. I, I don't know what I was doing. Oh well. Let's make sure we get all that ink off so we can go ahead and keep going. All right, now that that's done, I'm going to take, I'm gonna lay that aside for a minute, and I'm going to take my designer series paper, and I'm going to put a strip of adhesive down one side, I just reloaded this. This is a brand new stamp and seal plus. And then I'm just going to kind of look at my pink foil, and I just want, I don't know, maybe a quarter of an inch to show. So I mean, you could even cut it a little bit thinner if you want. All right, so that looks good. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this on my card front and I'm going to match the outside edges, the outside edge and the top and bottom edge. So let me go ahead and add some adhesive 
to this piece. And the reason I'm opening it up is because I want to make sure that I just match it to those edges. So well, let me make sure I'm still in camera. All right, we're just going to lay this right down there. All right. So there we have that piece is right there. And we had, as you can see, we had just enough room for that little sentiment. Okay. Now I have here a piece of um, Whisper White that I cut with our uh, layering squares. And I'm going to take our Hummingbird stamp. And again, I'm going to come in here with the Memento Tuxedo Black. And I'm just going to stamp my Hummingbird. So really the only way we're getting any color is really just from that strip of foil. Let me close up the ink and make sure the cover is on it this time before I stick my fingers in it again. I'm gonna come in with my Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm just gonna pop this up with some Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm gonna just put four, one in each corner. And then, hey, Mary, how are you tonight? Wasn't it gorgeous out today? It was a little windy, but wow, it was like 55 degrees. That's unheard of. Now they're saying we're supposed to get a winter storm next week. I'm just gonna kind of just put that right there. All right. And then I'm gonna take the uh, matte black gems that were part of the Love You Always suite. And I'm just gonna take three of the little ones. And I'm just gonna randomly place them on my card I usually do things in sets of three, just, I don't know, I just like having things in an odd number. And that one is not wanting to go. It's getting stuck on my nail. All right, and there we have it. There is our first card. So I think this is easy enough that even a beginner stamper could do it. You could always just cut out the square with your paper cutter. You don't necessarily need to use a die cut if you don't have them. I think this is probably about a two and a half by two and a half inch square. Um, so clearly you could just do that on your, um, your paper trimmer. So that's it for card number one. Let's go on to card number two. We're getting a little bit more involved here. We're going to do some Versamark stamping, some two-step stamping. So this is definitely more along the lines for our, um, you know, casual to avid crafter. So the first thing I want to do is I want to add just a little tiny bit of color to my inside sheet. I'm going to pull back my Stampin' Pierce mat, and I'm going to use some Smoky Slate, and I'm going to stamp the flowers, that's not the flowers, this one's the flowers, in some Smoky Slate. This is what I call like the outline stamp. I'm just going to put that right there, and then I'm going to come in with our filler stamp. I'm going to use that again in a minute, so I'm going to leave that open but set it off to the side. This is petal pink. And I'm just going to go ahead and stamp this and just kind of, and it's not going to match perfectly and that's the whole point of it. That it's supposed to look like an artistic, I don't know, creation. So we've got that. We're gonna go ahead and we're just going to attach that to our inside card. And you know that I love to put my white pieces on the inside of my cards. I just think it gives it a finished look. This is certainly light enough that you could leave the bumblebee as is. I just like the look of this. And this is bumblebee. The card base is bumblebee. It is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. To the front, I'm going to take the outline of the leaves and some Versamark. And I'm just going to stamp that randomly on the front of my card. I just like when I do some Versamark stamping. I think it just adds a little bit of something extra. And this will, as it dries, it'll get a little bit darker. Okay, and don't worry if it's not even because we are going to have that strip that's going to go down and cover up some of the middle. So I just wanna try to get just a little bit on there. Maybe just one more little tiny one there. Okay, so that's good. That's all we're gonna do for that. Now we're gonna come on, we're going to take, I have a strip of Granny Apple Green that is two inches by five and a half. I have 
uh, our Field and Flowers Designer Series paper. Remember, that's our free celebration item. That is one and three quarters by five and a half. And I'm going to layer the Designer Series paper over my strip of Granny Apple Green. Okay. And again, we're going to just make sure our top and bottom edges are even because they're going to go all the way to the top and bottom of our card. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some adhesive on the back of the Granny Apple Green. And then I am going to layer this whole thing along the front of my card. All right, there we go. So now I'm going to take, I have a circle here that I cut with our large. I used our largest and our smallest stitched circles, stitched shapes, the circles, to cut these out. And I'm going to stamp the outline of our butterfly in cinnamon cider, but I'm going to do second generation stamping. So I'm going to ink him up and then I'm going to stamp him off because I want the brown to be a little bit lighter. So I'm going to stamp him off there and then I'm going to stamp him on here. Okay, and I was trying to think, I was thinking like a monarch butterfly. Maybe not exactly with the colors, but it's sort of close, I hope. Anyway, I think it's sort of close. So we'll see. Hey, Patricia, how are you tonight? Say, hey, Melinda, how are you? Fran, good to see you all here. I'm going to ink this up, and I have our, this is Bumblebee. I'm just going to try to match him up. And we're going to stamp him down to give his wings a little bit of color. I'm a little bit off. That's okay. That's part of the charm of this particular two-step stamping. I'm going to come back in with our um, smoky slate. I'm going to put a little bit of flowers down here. Not much. Just a little hint. And you'll notice that I have my scrap paper there. So I'm going to kind of stamp off on some of that. I'm going to come back in with the petal pink. And we're going to stamp our flowers again and add a little bit of color to this. Make sure I get this right. Uh, I want to make sure I do this the right way. There, that's it. You can sort of tell how it's supposed to match up. Okay, we're done with our butterfly. We're going to add him again to our card with some Stampin' Dimensionals are right here. And I'm going to put about four on here. Okay. I'm just going to kind of center him up there. And then on our little tiny one, I'm going to bring back my smoky slate and I'm just going to stamp thinking of you. And we're just going to pop that up there. Now this is a little bit different because we're going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals and we're going to use some glue, some adhesive. And the reason being is because this is actually going to kind of sit right above that. So we want to put just a teeny bit of adhesive right there to help hold those two together. And we're going to put a Stampin' Dimensional over here. So this way it kind of marries up and it will be even. So we kind of put that there. So now we've got the Stampin' Dimensional holding it there and then we've got the adhesive there and that holds it all in place. I'm gonna come with some of these elegant faceted gems and I'm gonna again put on my three. And again, I'm just gonna kind of randomly place them. Maybe we'll put one there in the middle of that flower. We'll put another one maybe up here and then maybe one more, I don't know, maybe one more kind of, I don't know, right there on that flower if I can get it to stick. And that is it for tonight. These are our two cards. I love this stamp set. I really think you can get as detailed as you want. You can also color the bird with your Stampin' Write markers or your Stampin' Blends if you so desired. You could do any, really any kind of designer series paper would work with this. So that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this. And um, I guess I will see you next week here on Stampin' with Crafty Clock. Have a great evening, everybody. Bye.